I have walked through a hundred years and under quilts myself several times. And I just wanted to say a couple of things about the exhibit and what it means to me. The inspirations for the quilts are as varied as their themes. A childhood Christmas memory, a family vacation, a beloved parent, growing up in Arizona, or a gathering of those with certain similar imaginative spirits, all of which have combined to inspire the fabric creations that amaze and delight as we explore 100 Years 100 Quilts. And you can see that my voice is tremulous because I am as emotional about these quilts and the fact that we've been able to gather them with you in the Arizona Historical Society's Museum. I'm just as emotional as all of you were this morning. The quilts have taken us on an Arizona journey through its deserts, its mountains, and plateau country. Along the way, we've encountered plants, cactus, flowers, grasses, tall trees, and its animals, birds, insects, reptiles, mammals, and a few stray spiders, I've noticed. You've met many of the cultures that give Arizona its special identity. Settlers, homesteaders, Native Americans, Hispanic Americans, and all of us others. You've seen landmarks, both natural, the Grand Canyon, Sedona Red Rocks, and those that we've made, San Javier Mission, our state's capital, Prescott Courthouse, last but not least, Lease, Sulphur Valley, Electrical Cooperative. <laughs> You've learned about Arizona, the original five C's, cattle, cotton, citrus, copper climate, as well as our more recent innovations, such as our modern observatories. You've learned about those who have shaped our history You'll recognize some of them, Pancho Villa, Bucky O'Neill, but who knew Robert Fowler or Sam Stout? And for that matter, what the heck is a Hertzsprung Russell diagram? <laughs> if you didn't know before you came, the quilts have told you. Clearly, the art of quilting is robust. 